Okay, this video is just the uh, results of a little uh, friendly discussion that somebody, a YouTube user by the name of Solar Teacher, and I got a friendly uh, discussion here on one of my comment sections on a video where I show my workshop running uh, on a jewel ringer 24 7, where I had all the lights hooked up and drawing uh, 2 to 300 milliamps running all the lights 24 7 and my whole uh, premise to that video is that I could run all these lights for the same amount of current that my traditional inverter took just to run so with no load my little mini inverter takes 300 milliamps to run and uh, with the jewel ringer I was able to run all the lights in my shed 24 7 uh, at that same milliamp draw so there was a little bit of a discussion as to you know whether or not I've checked the lumens with a light meter and things along that line. So what I want to point out here is that uh, that's that's what I'm doing on this video, and of course that's what I do to get these circuits working in the first place. You can't really make a circuit this efficient or figure out any of this stuff without doing measurements like this. So I hope everybody else does things like this. I personally do measurements like this all the time and it's how I arrive at these uh, circuits in the first place. So anyway, this is based on the Super Jewel Ringer 2.0 schematic, uh, laserhacker.com. Um, I've got the light meter set up over here. You can see that we're at 707, so 707 on the light meter. We're drawing 458 milliamps. Um, traditional inverter. It's coming off 12 volts off my power supply to an 18,000 microfarad uh, electrolyte capacitor. I'm, I'm measuring the current between these two points. Just want to point that out. People always have questions on things like that. So anyway, that's the traditional setup. 458 milliamps, 708 on the light meter. So let's switch over to the uh, jewel ringer here. Get it connected. So we're going to connect the jewel ringer to the same light, not change anything. So there we go. You can see on the light meter, first of all, that it's at 714, and the milliamp draw has dropped, what do you know, to 270 milliamps. So this was pretty much uh, the the ex I'm, I believe I'm doing exactly what a solar teacher basically challenged me to do, with the expectation that this circuit would put out a lot less light, with uh, equal or or basically just be a whole lot less efficient than a traditional inverter. So the whole point of the jewel ringer circuit is to uh, get as much or more light for less current, and that's what it accomplishes. So kind of the point of this video. So anyway, hope that uh, satisfies folks' curiosity. It's uh, definitely exciting to work on these circuits. And I do encourage everybody to use, you know, um, some nice light meter equipment. Um, you can get this stuff used nowadays on eBay. Um, this one can measure foot candles. Uh, I got this one, I think, on Amazon about a year ago. But yeah, with, with using this kind of equipment, it's how I uh, got to these efficiency levels in the first place. And um, this video is just an update on, uh, on a power measurement and a little discussion between myself and Solar Teacher. I do plan on posting a new video soon with a lot of uh, exciting breakthroughs I'm having with the Super Jewel Ringer 2.0 uh, circuit, folks. I'm really excited with this one. So. Anyway, let's all keep experimenting. Let's keep pressing forward. Uh, cheap alternative energy, I, d I believe, is definitely here. Systems like this can be put together for a very small amount of money and be used to light, uh, light houses and stuff. Uh, there's a lot of places in this world where being, being able to run you know, just six of these lights with a small milliamp draw off a lithium iron phosphate battery or something would just make an, an excellent system. So. Anyway, that's it folks. Uh, we now have a uh, very fair comparison between this uh, traditional inverter and the uh, Jewel Ringer Super, the Super Jewel Ringer uh, 2.0 circuit. I'm going to switch back to the uh, traditional inverter here. So you can see that the uh, Jewel Ringer it, with no load is drawing 45 milliamps. So it's still oscillating. Uh, let me disconnect it, there we go, now that's turned off. 
and uh, we'll plug back in over here. One second here. So we're plugged back in over there. Turn the uh, inverter back on, and we're back up to 708 on the light meter and 472 milliamps. So that's the reason, folks. Anyway, let's all keep experimenting.